Karji. Spam to the Woozle. Sending out a decoy. Um, I haven't done so, so much Season 5 gameplay. But I decided to do something a little bit. Sometimes not do. I'm doing Apex Legends ranking video. I'm gonna rank all the legends. I got the list right in front of me. So let's see. Make this a little bit more interesting. I'm just gonna do double Kraber. Um, but yeah. So starting off with the list, we got Here I come Pathfinder. Back from the sky. Now, <sighs> um, well, technically, you should. I did do an F tier, but no legends are unusable. F tier is nobody. Every single legend in the game is usable, but D tier. These are gonna be legends that are you can use, but are easily outclassed by other legends. Before I do, before I continue, don't go down there to dislike the video just because I not put your legend that you'd like to use up there. We all have our preferred legends. These are just what I think. Yeah, Pathfinder. Um, this time but let me switch we'll real be quick. Different. I have come to There's save one the reason day. why Pathfinder is bad now. Look down at the tactical. Well, I need to get rid of the helmet. Rock, first. Shock and rock. Let's see. I never quit. Remember that. I have come to so, save the day. I got rid of the helmet. Maybe? Look at the tactical bar. Thirty-five seconds. So Pathfinder. The only thing really in ranked for platinum and above. Pathfinder is not going to be that good anymore because of his ultimate. Well, because of his tactical being ruined. Now his ultimate, you can get easily sniped or sprayed while using it. In platinum and above lobbies. His passive is the only thing that's really good on his kit now. I mean, besides that, like, he's not really good anymore. But before we do this, so, uh... Here's what I would recommend they do. They should either give Path the rework like they did for Mirage, or they should give him his tactical speed back. Because now, he can't grapple longer, but 20 more seconds? No, it's not going to make him good. I never quit. Remember that. Now look down the, to save the day. tactical this Maybe. time. 27 seconds. About 28 seconds. But, um. Yeah. So. Sorry, I might cut out for a second. Um. That's it. That's for Path. Now, next on the list is Octane. Whoa, He's been secondary. I love him. Oh, He's a really good legend, but. When you stim. He has his hitbox, um, reduced, so, yeah. So he's not have that big of a hitbox anymore, but 10 health for speed is never gonna be, is really gonna be worth it, in my opinion. He's not gonna be that good anymore. He's not gonna be that good in rank because that 10 health could matter. That's the bad thing about that. Good thing is speed, obviously. What I would do is I would. Well, there's not really anything. He's a balanced legend, but he's just not that good for ranked. So there's no buffs. They... There's no. There's no buffs or nerfs in my opinion. That I need. Moving on to D tier. These are gonna be legends that are good, but, um, they're not gonna be, these are not, these are just legends that you can play efficiently, but are not gonna be the best. Starting with it, we got Crypto. Thanks for not giving up on me. Crypto, uh, he has a really good drone EMP. That can really change the fight, but... It's the fact that to use the drone, getting my eyes in the sky, you have to stay stationary, so you can get easily sniped. 
and other stuff, which is not going to be the best. And you'll get easily sniped. No. And if your team rushes in the battle, let's say um, we have over here, over there. or your teammates over there, and you're over here, where I'm at, it's gonna be super hard to get to them. So um, his passive, which is Neuralink, Crypto and teammate see what is reading English drone detects. They will need to extend that, I'm my in my drone. opinion. 30 meters? Make it like 50 or 50 maybe. But yeah, that's why Crypto takes the bottom of D tier. Now next up on our list is gonna be Lifeline. I'm coming in. Patch me up, Doc. Lifeline gets this spot because again, she's not bad at all. No, she's actually good, but... She gets outclassed by other legends now. The only thing she has that's really that good is the boost supply bin and her fast heal. And like the that's it. But Gibby Tactical is like a lifeline passive. So Gibby has everything Lifeline has. Just not the boost supply bins. Tactical? Fetch me up, duck. That's, well, that's probably one of the only reasons she's good. Really. Her ultimate? You can just use the Lobos Black Market. But you'll get loot without ha being so easily detected. Again, Lifeline's good legend, but... She just gets outclassed. So that's why we're putting... That's why we're, I'm putting her at least. At the bottom... At the top. Of the Next on our list, we got... Revenant. Can't I just die already? Revenant's, Revenant's a really good legend. And, well, not really, really good, but... It takes the bottom D tier because, again... Oh, C tier, let's say. And C tier just are gonna be legends that are actually good for ranked. But, um, can be countered. And there can be better legends out there. But Revenant takes the bottom of C tier because the silencer? That's gonna be really good. Silencer is one of the best things. I think personally, Revenant may have the best tactical besides Loba. But, well, or besides Gibby. But Revenant has a really good tactical. Be able to do that. That's gonna be amazing. Cause then you throw it at that enemy. Can't use his abilities for 20 seconds. And his ultimate. The death totem. They they made it so that when you come back, you get 50 health. Everybody should know this. But if you don't, I'm explaining it to you. That 50 health is going to be crucial. Cause one, when it was one. A Cossack could just throw his gas trap right on there, then boom. Once the squad comes back, it's game over. But, um, now... The only flaw that he has is that enemies can use the death totem and... They can still be shot up easily. That's why he takes the bottom of C tier. Now, next on the list is going to be... Caustic. Death. It does not control me. So Caustic got a really good buff. Well, he never got a buff, but as far as I know, he never got a buff. Again, I rarely play him, but he's gonna be a good rank legend because, again, he's a really good at camping. If it, there's only one reason why he's C, C tier. That's because he's a really situational legend. Call six super situational. Now, if you you can't if you place your gas trap out in the middle, it's not a middle of an open field. It's not gonna do that much. That's the thing. That's why he gets it. 
Plus, see, when it comes to camping houses, um, or just somebody shoots a strap, it disorients the teammates also. Which makes it really hard to do actual any shooting. And to tell the difference between, uh, enemy and a friendly trap. And the ultimate, that can be escaped. That can be pretty easily escaped. And open fields. That's why Revenant, Revenant takes the bottom of C tier. Caustic takes the top of C tier. Next on our list, we have Time to drop Bangalore. To drop. Bottom of B tier. B tier is going to be legends that are actually actually good for ranked. You can really use them efficiently. So Bangalore, again. Bangalore can be a really good legend because you were passive. Being able to run away fast like that is uh, going to be good. And your tactical. She's can be a good she can't be good for a hot res. Which if you don't know what that means, um that means that you can um easily pop off a res in the smoke. Now the reason is cuz she can be easily countered with digital threats and other stuff. Answer tactical, Mirage is um passive. Mirage can actually really easily hot res. If he does SVB, if he's not seen, that is. But I would say that Bangalore would be a lot better with the Mirage. Because if a teammate's knocked in the middle of the field, Bangalore can pop the smoke over um, the down teammate. Mirage can go in and um, res them. And they will, and they go in the smoke, they won't know. Now the ultimate, which is rolling thunder now. I remember it being creeping barrage, but I think they changed it. I don't know, but um, yeah. Bangalore, I think, very easily would take the bottom of B tier because her ult, it does damage. So it can keep them off bay if they have to pop off a shield cell. And they go through it, it slows them if it explodes. The only counter to Bangalore would be Wraith. Because Wraith can go and Wraith can be invincible while doing it. Speaking of Wraith, next on our list, the middle of B tier. Now for the right choice. She's gonna be now bunch of um people might get mad if they made this far in the video. Where you click off, I have my reasoning. So Wraith, when you use your tactical, it tells you where... Well, it doesn't tell you anything, but um, it tells you... It gives you invincibility, basically. Her passive tells you. It gives you invincibility. Bad thing is, is that when you use her tactical... It leaves a blue trail behind. The even worse thing is, enemy can easily follow you to that, and they catch you off guard when you stop using your tactical. Then um, they can easily get the upper hand just because you can't hold your hold out your weapons immediately. Besides that, Wraith is a really good legend. Her ultimate fast charging can be really useful for getting a down teammate or trying to set up some bait. Um, that's what she can be really useful for. But just because her tactical, in my opinion, that's why she takes middle B tier. Next on our list, we have uh, Bloodhound. It was not my time. Bloodhound's passive is really good. Being able to track enemies, especially in a rank game, can lead to high placement for rank points and a bunch of other stuff. And since they extended it, so it's all around you. It's like a big Gibraltar stone. All around you. But yeah. So what this would do is that it will make it so that you can um, easily know where enemies you're at. 
That's what tackle can do. His ultimate can be really good for running. Having a good, um, good digital threat. And for evading storm. And for rushing. That's what it can be really good for. Scanning the area. That's exactly why Bloodhound takes the top of B tier. Next, we have A tier. These are legends that are really good for ranked. You don't have to use them, but you should use them, basically. Next, starting with, we have Watson. I feel recharged. Watson's plagued by the same thing that happened to Costa. Situational. Planting fences. That's what it is. If you're not, if you're in a house, if the final circles, or if you're fighting in a house fight, then that's when Watson's really good. But besides that, I would not prefer. I would not use her in open field. Your passive, which now most of these legends are might need a slight nerf. Here's the thing about her passive. Um, yeah. Can you get the cooling animation? Can you use it? Ultimate's fully charged. I would say I knew. I would say that this can really come in handy, but it may be a little bit too good sometimes. Because all Watson has to do is carry Ultimate Accelerant, then Watson's set. What I would do is um, make her be able to use Sneak Ultimate silence. Accelerant. Really fast. Fence That's place. what I would do. Or do we cut the thing in half? That's exactly why Watson takes the bottom A tier. Really good legend though. Next on our list we have I'm not done yet. Loba. Shops open for business. Now some people might be mad over this. This is this is one of the reasons why Loba I'm um, Loba tops lifeline. Her ultimate. Um a a pretty decent charge and it doesn't let anybody really know where you're at. And you can get access to a whole bunch of loot. But if it um now she's not really she doesn't really need a nerf or a buff. She's perfect. Her, ta her passive eye for quality be able to sense easy loot so you know if it's worth going there or not. And her pass and her tactical can. Activating this is drive. why she tops Pathfinder. Takes a little bit, but can get way further than Pathfinder ever could. One downside when you use her tactical. I can to say it, but the trail is really what can be bad. And the sound. But it could definitely be worth it for running away or rushing in a battle. That's exactly why Luba takes the lower half of the A tier. R amazing new legend though. Next on our list we have what some people really might disagree with. Here I come, Mirage, Mirage. to the rescue. After being rescued. So, um... Here's why. I can't really show you, but the passive... And the passive automatically cloak when using respawn beacons and reviving teammates. That's gonna be really handy and ranked. Just like, let's say if one of your teammates gets knocked, you can pop off a res as long as the enemies don't see you. That's why Mirage's passive is amazing. Tactical? And bam goes the boozle! <laughs> Tactical oh has new voice lines. That's what gets him. He, no, it, no, that's not what gets him. <laughs> but, um, yeah. The fact that he can tr control the decoy. Let's say if you're fighting in battle. Heck, this might be a really good trick. Let me know down in the comments if you were somehow able to do this. You make your... You control your decoy, then go up and down like that. And make it seem, if you're solo... Or let's say there's a duo, or trying to let's say if you're trying to pretend to do a fist foul, you go like that, act like you're friendly. Most of the time, 
which is a decoy. That will never happen in ranked, but maybe in regular games, maybe. But you could do that, then let's say they're gonna be friendly. They're gonna crouch too. And you turn around and you can be like... <laughs> they can pop them from behind. That would be a really funny way to get a kill, actually. And his ultimate... At first, I was mad that they did this. But then more and more I started using it. <laughs> get that second of visibility. And decoys follow your movements. Which is highly disorienting. So let's say the stummy. We can do this. There. Please, so sorry, go away. Because the Mirage is insane buff, rework, let's say, saying rework, that's why it takes the upper half of A tier. Now, last but not least, we have Gibraltar. I'm back in duties, brothers. He's a really good legend. He's extremely useful in a lot of cases. The tactical, Shield up. better lifeline passive. And fast res. And protects you from all sides. Really handy. Gun shield. And with the four Not slow by bullets. Some of you might be saying, but it's because of his big hitbox. But minus 15% damage. And pair Gibby up with the red Evo. And have his gun shield. And let's say like a devotion, it's practically game over. And Gibby can wipe the entire squad if he knows how to use him. And the ultimate. It's just amazing. It's this, yeah. We can throw this down. Let's see if I can game's turning a lot of time, but um Yeah, you can get this ready. In battle, let's say if it's like a really tense fire fight, you're getting their play. Rain down some destruction. The airstrike. Heads up, we got an airstrike and then the us. enemies, if it's in the open battle, go panic. And if this would actually hit, like that, ow, ow. But if this were to actually hit, then yeah, that would be deadly. Again. That's the season five rankings, in my opinion. I don't think I did that bad of a job. I think, it's, but let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you think that I did anything wrong. Don't shield out. And I'll see y'all next time. Good day.